Hey guys, and welcome to another roundup of cloud gaming news. So this one is going to be a fast and furious, as there's not a huge amount to go over, but there are some little standouts from cloud gaming over the past week or so. So let's get cracking with the video, shall we? So first up, let's talk about Google Stadia, and the, probably the most interesting thing is that Arc Survival Evolved has been patched to increase that performance that was quite frankly just a, a little bit puzzling. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the whole Arc controversy, basically it launched on Google Stadia and it was somewhat of a mess. Playing it was like kind of looking at some kind of fun fuzzled messed up potato and it just looked absolutely abysmal. The draw distance was poor, the graphics were really poor, it was capped at 30 frames per second. But what made this even more puzzling was the simple fact that another Google Stadia player will have their video linked down below, also discovered that actually you could go into the console mode and remove most of those performance caps so you could play in much better graphics, increase the draw distance, remove that frames per second cap, and it just played like playing on a high-end PC. So the reason why the developers put it in there is still somewhat of a mystery and I'm sure one day we'll hopefully find out, but who knows. However, after quite a lot of outcries from the Google Stadia community and from players wanting to play this but getting a really poor performance and just having something that looked like trash, thankfully the developers have responded and removed a lot of those limitations. So they've manually patched the graphics so that it has a much improved graphics, better draw distance and stuff like that, but also players can now go into the options and tweak the graphics themselves as well, rather than having to mess around with the console mode, which is a big win, especially if you're playing on a mobile or a tablet or on your TV and not on a gaming PC or something like that. So hats off to the developers for fixing it. Still a little bit puzzled as to why they put it in there in the first place and what their motives were, but who knows? Moving on, Streets of Rage 4 has had their Mr. X update launch on Stadia as well, so if you want to get that add-on, that is now currently available. So great news for everybody who's been enjoying Streets of Rage 4. And finally for Stadia, Chorus, a space combat title is launching on December 3rd as well, and they've also launched a new trailer to go with that as well. So if you're interested in that type of game, the trailer is up, and we'll have that linked down below so you can enjoy that. And Video GeForce Now had a lot to shout about. They've got five day and date releases coming out very shortly. Some of those are including Kenna, Bridge of Shadows, which has been announced previously, Sable, World War Z Aftermath, and also Sheltered 2. Now, Sheltered 2 looks really interesting. It's a like post-apocalyptic sim where you go out and you have to gain your different followers and build your base and stuff like that. It looks really interesting. And the update to World War Z is a massive welcome for people who've been enjoying that game. It breathes new life into it. You get a new first-person perspective mode, and there's a lot of new mechanics that are thrown in there as well. So hopefully that'll bring people over to that community for people who've been playing it already. It's been receiving some rave reviews in this new update, so definitely one worthwhile checking. Out. And our final bit of news, and I suppose this is a bit of a twist on things, but Microsoft have announced their own little handheld, kind of. They've brought out the Surface Duo 2. So they had the Surface Duo previously, which is a kind of foldable phone. Ultimately, it's two screens in one device, and it looks really nifty. Now, earlier this year, Microsoft brought across xCloud integration to that. So what would happen is you'd be able to play your game on that top screen, and you'd be able to use that lower half screen as like a, I guess, almost like a DS. So it looks really cool. You have all your controls and everything on there, and you can do all your cloud streaming to the top screen, and it looks pretty awesome. The Surface Duo 2 brings slightly bigger screens, improved performance, and just a lot of quality of life upgrades. So if you are looking at jumping into that sort of thing, it is a pretty hefty price tag at about $1,500. But if you've been looking at that sort of form factor, it might be the time to look at it. And if you are a cloud gamer, you will get those benefits of being able to have this kind of weird Nintendo DS slash Xbox handheld controller all slammed into one. There's a pretty interesting take on things and one we're pretty keen to try out. So let us know in the comments, what are you playing at the moment on cloud gaming and what are you most excited for in the cloud gaming news space? Are you interested in something like the Microsoft Surface Duo 2 because it does look pretty interesting or is it just not on your radar at all? Hope you've enjoyed that video and if you have, hit that like and subscribe button and come along for some more awesome content in the future. But in the meantime, we will see you soon. Bye.